well making a video for the first time in a while has been a lot of reasons not to make one for a while but you know so much for plans i i bought this place in the beginning of october and i like immediately even before i owned the place i hired a roofing contractor and he was supposed to start on October 27th or 28th and um, you know I was planning I had big wishes that the roof would all be done by December 31st right you know I mean I wanted to get the roof done get the gutters on downspouts on paint you know everything on the outside by December 31st well it was way too wet way too much rain way too cold ice snow frost i mean he didn't even the roofer didn't even start on this project till after january and there you know a lot of delays due to weather due to illness lots of things um but you know, I think it's pretty close to done as far as the rift goes. You know, now I can work my way down. There's still an awful lot of work. But um, first video in a while, these, these popped up like a month ago. And they're like six and eight feet tall. They're a giant uh, Queen Anne's lace. Pretty cool plant. There's a lot of salmon berry up here. You know, a bunch of trees. This I'm working on dredging out this area so I can put a new uh, concrete drainage box on this storm drain um, for my creek. And I got a tub here, which we're gonna uh, use some a logging procedure, just like a. Uh, just like dragging trees up uh, from down in a canyon, we're going to drag this uh, boxed frame. It looks kind of like an old trek bed, but it's not. But we're going to drag it way back up into that gap right there so that it creates a waterfall in this area. And then I'm going to get all this cleaned up over the course of the summer. There's a nice little hiking trail here. It goes up to, to Bob. Bob's the gigantic spruce right back here. Uh, kind of hard to see because we still got some alders we need to cut up there. But, um, you know, by this time next year, this will have a bridge going over and a, a waterfall back there. Hopefully uh, a small hydroelectric water wheel. Um, I'd like to generate some of my own power. A lot of this scrub will be gone nothing but the evergreens will be left and this little bit of salmon berry i'll probably leave a nice patch of these queen anne's lace because when i mean they these things shot up from they weren't even here at all a month ago i mean maybe six weeks ago they, they weren't even here at all and they're like eight feet tall it's hard to even show you how big they are but um, anyway, so I'm going to do a quick little walk. Uh, we got asphalt pile, one and a half inch rock, three inch rock, sand and gravel for concrete. Uh, I'll take, oops, I forgot about the roof. Yeah, we'll, we'll walk up on the hill here. Sure. This gives a pretty good view of the rip. I main reason I want to get this video on is um, a couple months ago my dad had a stroke and every time I talk to him on the phone the first thing he asks is is the rip done? So I can finally send him this video and tell him that yes the rip is done. There's still a lot to do but I mean the rip looks pretty nice got um, the bell tower they finally got it finished up yesterday um, I'll start walking here
Whew, it's kind of cold this morning. My nose is running. Oh, let's go out here, point, take a quick peek at a couple things. Smith River right straight ahead there. Downtown Reedsport, I'm in Old Town Reedsport, a little bit up on the hill. Um, Highway 101 bridge straight ahead there. And um, train bridge, metal train bridge going to the island that's in the middle of the mouth of the Smith River right there. Um, got, I got, shit, I got 20 gallons of white paint. I got, you know, probably five more gallons of black paint. Get all the fascias painted up. Uh, still got to put fascia on the house, but I'll do that myself. I'm painting the step, the stairwell, the steps, just the handrails on steps. They're all going to be black. The doors at the front of the church are going to be black. Um, all the all the window casings will be all black all the trim um, you know just white and black you know it's black and white pretty straightforward there is no gray unless you're a cat we'll go up the other driveway this is where the mess is doesn't make much sense to start cleaning shit up until it's all down. It's finally all down. And there's an awful lot of shit to clean up. But I got new louvers to put back in there. I'm going to get all this. This is going to get painted over the next couple months. Um, I'm going to redo all the windows. Uh, put, a, put a skin on. Put forms up and pour like a couple extra inches of concrete for the foundation and then put a facing on it. I'm probably going to get a little bit fancy with some of those windows, maybe do a little bit of leaded glass work. Um, I'll probably end up doing that myself. <coughs> Yeah, it's been kind of cold. Once we get a few, you know, 80 degree days, all these composite shingles will lay down a little flatter. But yeah, a lot of work still, but it's starting to come together. We're concreting in these planters, getting, you know, helping to create good drainage. Yeah, just in case my dad hasn't seen any pictures of it. Um, here's that little, here's that little tri-hull with the 70 horse Johnson on it. On a galvanized trailer that I bought for 300 bucks. It needs a lot of cleanup, but the trailer's awesome. The boat's awesome. The motor, the guy that used to own it was a mechanic. A boat mechanic so I'm I'm almost positive this engine runs great <clears throat> I just just gotta get it cleaned up I think I'm gonna pave the front walkway in front of the house and church and make it wide enough to be able to either drive a vehicle or like pull the boat into the basement we're gonna make a couple of great big dungeon or barn doors for the basement so that it'll be easy to get a vehicle in and yep that's pretty much it for now um, a lot of materials now I just got to come up with an equal amount of time time 
you know, to put it all together. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Um, sorry I haven't been in contact much, but it's kind of been a survival thing up here. It's been cold. And, you know, I work when I can work and I sleep the rest of the time. Maybe a few minutes in there for a shower and some food. And, you know, it's the same thing day after day. But this is, you know, what I... I mean, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life is put this place all back together. And, you know, I, I'm kind of excited about it. It's got a good start working from the top on down. So take care.